How do you write thumb-stopping Instagram captions? I'm going to share six content writing tips for Instagram captions for more likes, comments, and sales. Welcome back to my channel, my name is Robin. I help new and relatively new online coaches clarify their offer and use Instagram to get their first couple of paying clients. Many online coaches struggle getting any kind of engagement on Instagram. They are putting a lot of effort in their content just to see it die unnoticed. If you don't know what to put into your Instagram captions to get likes, comments and DMs, this video is for you. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have noticed that my content interactions have doubled and I've reached almost 250% more people on Instagram. So I want to share with you some of the techniques and strategies I have used to create this kind of growth on my channel. So here are my six best tips to writing engaging Instagram captions, including real life examples. To get more likes, share a relatable story. This is one of my most liked posts of all time. And in my experience, posts with a coach in it get more likes, especially when they focus on building the connection with your followers. So while the meme grabbed the attention, it was the relatable story that drew people in. Many online coaches struggle with, feel, with feeling confident, so they often get their positive feedback and validation from social media. And if a post tanks, they will feel devastated. They wonder if they can even make it in the online world. And my guess is you had a similar post or post and that's why you're watching this video. And this post was inspired after a week of really low engagement when I felt really good about the content. So it was 100% real, 100% relatable. So think about your life and your experience. Maybe you feel less than good as a coach because you're struggling with overweight. You still find yourself wanting to lose weight to finally feel beautiful. Use these relatable stories, not just to get likes, but to start conversations with your followers because conversations turn into sales. To get more saves, share your favorite tips and tools. My top three posts, safe posts, are practical how-to guides and templates with followers that my followers could use immediately. So think about this content as shortcuts for them. They don't need to think about what foods to eat when traveling. They have my top five recommendations. And instead of writing long captions, I break them down into a carousel with supporting images. So it may, I make it super easy for them to grab the information and go. So think about what are your best tips or simple templates that you could share. Maybe a grocery list for, your, for a family. How about a list of inexpensive healthy foods? Think about what charts, comparison graphics, or infographics you could share with your audience that's worth saving. To get more shares, post a thought-provoking quote. For shares, I cannot show you any data from my insights because in Europe, Instagram is not allowed to track shares. But here's my thought process. People share content that makes them feel look good. They want to be the person that has the funny meme or the thought-provoking quote in their story. So it tells something about them. That's also why they don't want to have your face or your brand all over their story. So Twitter-style posts or newer trends where you write messages on day-to-day -day objects are a great way to create shareable content. Also, here's another example. I designed the last slide of a carousel so that people can share to their story. So think about quotes that resonate with you or maybe messages that did inspire you on your health journey. Maybe you can find a cool meme that you can adjust to make it relatable to your audience. And Dr. Nadalski is a great inspiration for weight loss related memes. To get more comments, ask a simple question. My top three most commented posts are simple polls. Now ask a question like, which one are you? And then give them a couple of choices and the options describe them as the audience. My goal was to understand how well they knew Canva so I could create the best video for them. I also sent the final video to everyone who commented and it opened a lot of new conversations. And again, conversations can turn into cells. And you can do the same. Think about three or four core problems that your ideal clients have and let them vote what problem they would like to hear most about. And use these posts every now and then again to push your overall engagement rate. To get more DMs, provide valuable resources. When I think about DMs, I think about people getting people to take a strong action to show their interest. So first I want to cover website clicks for those that have a newsletter or a freebie. The post with the most link in bio clicks gave away my client tracking checklist. 
especially when you're a new coach, this resource saves you so much time and energy because you don't have to create your own. But it also takes a lot of time to get to my page and sign up. So nowadays I use a call to action like comment this word and I send you the link. And the announcement for my free course in my story got me the most DMs. The key is to provide something so valuable that people stop scrolling and show their interest. What could it be for your and your ideal clients? Maybe a list of the top five hacks to deal with poor sleeping during menopause. Maybe a list of foods new moms can try when they struggle with morning sickness. To get more followers, change their perspective on a problem. This is the post that got me the most followers. I solved the age-old problem of how often should I post on Instagram. In the post, I share the recommendations from three big social media companies and how they are actually contradicting themselves. So the key is to experiment with what works for your channel the best and then to focus on building more connections instead of chasing numbers. What are the most common questions that your followers and clients have? Is it what supplements to take to gain muscle? What exercises help to lose belly fat? Create a post around this and show how their current thinking is getting in their way and what to do instead. So focus on changing their perspective. So here's my challenge for you. Go into your Instagram insights and look for posts with the most likes, most comments, most saves, most reach. Make a list of the top three posts for each category and then find three similar ideas. In this way, you create content that's based on real data for your engagement. And you already know what call to action works best for these posts. So write I'm in in the comments below to committing yourself to writing better Instagram captions. And then schedule those ideas and see how they perform. Speaking of scheduling, I've linked a video at the end on how to create your own content calendar. If you learned something about writing killer captions for Instagram accounts, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Every Monday I show a new video on how to clarify your offer and use Instagram to attract paying clients into your world. And the next video is going to be about caption formulas so you know exactly what to write and when to write it to get the best results. If you want to reach out personally, my Instagram panel is here and now watch these cool videos on how to create more amazing content ideas.